This is a board. So is this. Why am I telling you this? Because this board is very similar to the one that is in this machine right here. When I first bought this game, it literally had a monitor issue. The monitor wouldn't turn on, and if it did, it had weird waves on the sides of the screen, and then shortly after it would just turn off. Now, me trying to replace the monitor, I ended up burning up the original board that it had. So, I ended up having to buy a replacement board. This board, to be exact. Now, I'm not going to go into details on what condition the board was in or how they listed it online. But, needless to say, yeah, it uh, did not work right. But when you plugged the board in and turned it on, everything was in a green hue like this. And I did no modifications to it. I literally unplugged it and plugged this one in its place. And plugged the old board and plugged this one in. And so I was like, well... There was money wasted. I guess I got a result back to the drawing board. So after many months of searching, finally found someone online that had a board. It was working. Um, seemed pretty trustworthy, so I went ahead and bought it. And that is the board that is in the machine now. And I can actually play it. But the issue is, with these games, there was many different variations. You know, as, it's, as you see here, it says Golden Tee Classic. And that's what the cabinet was originally, but the board that I got, the chips were Golden T 2K, which is same game, different courses, not the courses that were supposed to be on this machine. And when you started it up, it would do the Golden T 2K startup. It wouldn't say classic, so immediately anybody, if they cared, would see that it was not the original board that was with the game. So I worked some magic, pulled the chips out, had some spare chips laying around from the dead boards, tested them, made sure they were all right, bought the equipment to flash the proper game files for this cabinet because, I don't know, maybe I'm a purist, but it's the game that was on it. I figured, you know, make it like it was, so... So as you see, it works, and it's the actual game it's supposed to be. So if you take a look, somewhat simplistic of a game, you know, it'll tell you everything. Up to four people can play, yada, yada, yada. Choose your clubs by sliding this track ball back and forth. Different types of shots, depending on how you roll it, etc. You know, you can do a shot straight to the left if you go back and forward in the same direction, you know, same thing in this way, you can do curve shots by doing a bunch of crazy stuff, it's kind of one of those learning curves, one of my biggest issues with this game is it does not have backspin, so, and then it's got a turn left button, turn right button, but yeah, it's, it's golf, that's me, longest drive ever. More exciting watching paint dry. Thank you, thank you. Let's play some golf. Now this game is set up to take quarters. And as you can see, it's got one credit right now, but you'd only play um, three holes. Now if you put a dollar in before you start playing, you can play 18 holes or a full round. But if you do it a quarter at a time, say so put a quarter in, play three holes, you gotta end up putting five more quarters in to play 18 holes. So I think that's how they get you back in the day as well. Just make you have to, oh, I gotta play it. I gotta play it. So you just keep shoveling money in. But quarter is actually very cheap for this game. So, but let's get started. 
Three courses. I'll do the first course. Alrighty. This game is a lot to get used to as well. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, literally just pull your guy back, see, you know, look at him go, yeah. And then just fling that sucker forward. I'm not going to explain the rules of golf. I have better things to do than bore you people. <laughs> right in the water. Now, I didn't say I was any good at this game. <laughs> Go for one, trying for par. Go for one, on T. It's going to be a long putt. Go for one. Trying for oh, birdie. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> Go for one. Trying for birdie. <laughs> Go for one. On T. Trees in the way. Right in the tree. Not the sand. Oh, yeah. There we go. That'll be in the water. Or not. Game takes a lot to get Go used to. One, trying for par. There's no gauge or anything telling you how far you're going to hit it. You just kind of have to figure it out with more play time. Golf for one is up. Interesting. Right in the sand. Right over the sand, okay. Water. Get nice. the snorkel. Go for one, trying for double bogey. <laughs> the guy's laughing at me for double bogey. 
all for one on T. Start it off strong. What's a try? Oh, yeah. Call for one, trying for birdie. That's nine holes. Pretty fun game, pretty simple. Um, pretty primitive compared to the later games in the series, which is Golden T4, which is the series after this style, which I actually have a project that I'm working on. And then, I mean, they've been making Golden T up till this year, I think they come out with Golden T 2022. So, 12 for one. I think mean, it's amazing that this game has that much of a following. That, you know, coming up on 30 years, they've been making these arcade games. I mean, I'm a fan. I'm looking forward to get that Golden T4 working and uh, many of the other projects I have. 